we have integral of irrational function. We know that we cannot have zero in the denominator. And under square root, we have to have expression greater than or equal zero. So x plus five must be greater than or equal zero. So we have from the second inequality that x must be greater than or equals negative five. And because x must be different than zero, so we have interval from negative five to positive infinity and we have to subtract zero. So now first I will rewrite our square root to power form. So this is equal integral of x plus five to power one half over x with respect to x. Next, I will substitute x plus five by t square. So now we have to find derivative of both sides with respect to x. So we have one is equal to t d t to dx. So now we multiply both sides by dx. So we have dx is equal to t dt. Now we will have to find x because in the numerator we have only x. From this equation we have that x is equal t square minus 5. So we will rewrite our integral and we will have t to second power to power 1 half. I substitute x plus 5 by t square over x is t square minus 5. And we have dx is 2t dt. Next, we can reduce 2 and 2. So now we will put 2 before integral symbol. So we have only t times t will be t square in numerator over t square minus 5 in denominator dt. So this is equal because we have the same degree in numerator and in denominator. So first I will rewrite our integral. I will write our numerator to form t square minus five because t square minus five I have in denominator plus five. I have to add this five because we don't have this any constant. So negative five plus five is zero. So everything is okay. We have only t square t square minus 5 in the term dt. So now we can rewrite our expression to fraction. We will have integral of t square minus 5 over t square minus 5 plus 5 over t square minus 5 with respect to t. So this is equal. Integral of sum is equal sum of integrals. So we have two and in brackets we will have integral of one with respect to t because t square over t square minus five we can reduce and we have plus integral of Five we can take before integral, so we have one over t square minus five dt. So this is equal. We have two times integral of one with respect to t is t plus five, and we can rewrite our denominator to form t minus square root of five times t plus square root of 5. One in numerator we have dt. So first I will rewrite our rational fraction to sum of partial fractions. Let me copy this expression. We have 1 over t minus square root of 5 times t plus square root of 5. So this is identically equal to a over t minus square root of 5 plus b 
over t plus square root of 5. Now we need to find a and b. So first I will multiply both sides by t minus square root of 5 times t plus square root of 5 to reduce denominators. So on the left side we will have only one is identically equal to a and we have to multiply every fraction by this whole expression. So t minus square root of 5 will reduce and we will have only t plus square root of 5 times a plus and we will have b times t minus square root of 5. Now to find a and b I will use substitution method. I will put first t as equal square root of 5. So on the left side we have always 1 so this is equal. When I put for t square root of 5, I will have a times square root of 5 plus square root of 5. And the second expression will be 0 because square root of 5 minus square root of 5 is 0. 0 times b is 0. So we have 1 is equal to square root of 5a. Next, I will divide both sides by 2 square root of 5. So this and this we can reduce and we have that a is equal 1 over 2 square root of 5 because we don't like to have square root in denominator. I will multiply numerator and denominator by square root of 5. So this is equal square root of 5 over 2 times 5 will be 10. Next I will substitute t by square root negative square root of 5. So we will have on the left side is always 1 is equal. When I put negative square root 5 square first expression will reduce and we will have b times negative square root of 5 minus square root of 5. So we have 1 is equal negative 2 square root of 5b. We will divide both sides by negative square root of 5. So we have this and this we can and that we can reduce and we have that b is equal negative 1 over 2 square root of 5. Now, now we will multiply by square root of 5 numerator and denominator. So we have that b is equal negative square root of 5 over 10. Next. We can go to this partial fraction. We will substitute and and b. And we can rewrite our integrand to sum of two partial fractions. So we have now, I have to copy first part. So we have 2 times t plus 5 integral will be a is equal square root of 5 over 10 and we have t minus square root of 5 in denominator plus and b is equal negative square root of 5 over 10 over t plus square root of 5 integral with respect to t we have this is equal we have 2 times t plus 5. S integral of sum will be equal sum of integrals. And we can take constant before integral symbol. So we have 5 times square root of 5 over 10. Integral we have 1 over t minus square root of 5 with respect to t. And we have negative and positive, so it will be negative 5. We have to copy. And we have constant square root of 5 over 10. And we have integral of 1 over t plus square root of 5 with respect to t. So now we have to close brackets. So this is equal 5. We can reduce with 10 will be 2 and we have 2 in brackets t plus 
square root of 5 over 2. In numerator, we have derivative of denominator, so our integral is equal natural logarithm of absolute value of t minus square root of 5 plus constant, we will put at the end, minus, and we have square root of 5 over 2. Again, we have in numerator derivative of denominator, so this is equal natural logarithm of absolute value of t plus square root of 5, and at the end we will put plus constant c. So this is equal, we can do multiplication, and we will substitute t by square root of x plus 5, because x plus 5 is equal t square. So t is equal square root of x plus 5. So we will have 2 times square root of x plus 5. 2 times 2 in denominator we have, so it will be only square root of 5. Natural logarithm of absolute value t is square root of x plus 5 minus square root of 5 minus and again and 2 will cancel, so we will have square root of 5, natural logarithm of absolute value of square root of x plus 5 plus square root of 5 plus constant c. We can factorize square root of 5, and because we have the same base, we can use property of natural of logarithm, and we can rewrite this, that this is equal. First expression we will copy, and we will have plus square root of 5 times natural logarithm of absolute value of square root of x plus 5 minus square root of 5 over square root of x plus 5 plus square root of 5 plus constant c. This is my solution.